Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. If you are new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. Personal reading link is in the description box below this video. And yeah, awesome. I wanna welcome Sean Varner to the House of Virgo gang. Um, all right, you guys. So we're gonna take a look at your week ahead energy. Um, this is going to be for May 6th through the 12th, okay? So here you go, Virgo. You're starting off with twin flames, yin-yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement, or complementing each other. I'm only going to pull one card for this. Um, I want to get straight into the reading and see what is up with this twin flame energy. What is going on? I can just already hear some of you no not the twin flame and then others yes my twin flame so we'll see who your twin flame is what the energy is between you and your person let's take a look at their energy what is the energy of this person virgo's twin flame how do they feel about virgo what is the situation okay so you have the high priestess so Virgo, there's definitely something here where this is a, a very strong, sacred connection. And I feel like not a lot of people know about this. Or this person, I don't necessarily feel like they are aware about the twin flame connection here. I have a feeling um, that I'm getting that your twin flame person could be a Cancer or Pisces. That this person runs away from this. There's a feeling of being afraid, yeah, and being defensive. I feel like this person, they don't want to acknowledge what they really know about your connection here. That you guys are like the yin to each other's yang. The, you know, you... you they don't want to face this for some reason. I think Virgo it feels mostly like it overwhelms them, but they know. Your person knows that you have that intuitive connection. Okay, so here's your first card. Got a fire sign. So I feel like there is a fire sign. Now this could also be a Libra for some. Aries, Sagittarius. Leo. This person, your person, Virgo, your twin, pushes back. They intuitively know that there is a connection here, but they push back. They keep it hidden. They won't admit it, but they intuitively know. They run away from this connection. Why? It's powerful, Virgo. This person feels like your connection is overwhelmingly powerful. And it's, I feel like it scares them. Oh, they're totally awakened to it. That too, that there is a connection here. I don't know so much that they would call it a twin flame. They might, they might just be learning or becoming awakened to this energy. But you have Leo, you also have Scorpio energy here, Pluto. This person is highly awakened to this, but mm, there's something, it's what scares them. Page of Cups. Okay, Virgo. Makes sense. They keep it real light with you. It's They're scared of being hurt. It's too overwhelming. They run away from the connection. They, they push back on it. There's a fear. This person has a real deep fear of pain, of being hurt, of um, being rejected. Going the distance with you. They may have been hurt in the past, but going the distance with you and feeling a sense of loss or that it's not going to work out. They, okay, so we do have the emperor here. I feel like there's um, perhaps in their past, I would like to say a father figure 
or someone who sits in the energy of the emperor had heavy influence on them was very i don't want to say dictator like but heavy influence on this person on your person okay had um an expectation for your person and for some reason i don't know that you are the expectation i feel like in this person's mind it's not so much about you living up to them but living up to someone else who had a heavy influence in them and that could just be an energy or it could be someone in their presence in their physical presence so the overall message for that is that this person is afraid that someone who controls them or someone who has a heavy influence on them will not approve hmm and that it will it won't work out or that it won't you know work out now understand too um if this was a parent and that parent is no longer present in your person's life the echoes the tapes that they heard how they were raised is influencing like a subconscious thing and they might just say to you well no it's this or it's that but it's this person i feel like has a struggle to hear their own message to hear their own voice and yet they're in conflict with it you know the three of swords is you that voice or that person that's current in their life um and them themselves aries energy here so they struggle to hear their own voice Look at that. This person has a hard time putting up boundaries against the messages, the influence, or the person. I feel like they try. I feel like they try, but whoever had a hold on them had a heavy influence that was detrimental to their soul. This person, I feel like your twin flame, struggles to hear their own heart listen to their own heart let's see what this person will do eventually how things will turn around how things will turn out with your person virgo six of wands oh, nine of cups king of swords four of pentacles eight of wands so hmm. you know virgo this reading feels so different today um I get this energy that this person is going to try to stay in contact with you but not how can i say this i feel like they're going to stay in contact with you in one way or another or keep trying to keep the connection alive because they do see you as the person that they've always wished and hoped for you were like i hear perfect for this person however they're not ready fully to come into full-on union even though they know that you're so it's like you are in some kind of a third party situation with this person but it's not a th like a third party romantic situation it's them and an elder or someone who sits in a position of authority and then you 
And until this person is able to stand up to that authority, whether that's tapes that run through their head or an actual person, I don't see it moving forward to fruition. I see this person mostly wishing and hoping of what it would be like. But I'm not seeing, I mean, the most action that I feel like you'll get from this, from your twin flame is a lot of, I just saw it was 1111. A lot of, because that's the 1111. Do you see it? 11, 11, a whole bunch of them. I feel like the most you'll get from your person is a whole lot of kisses, <laughs> communication, messages, a lot of that. I feel like this person sits in more of, they have a desire to have this closeness, to be open with you. And they might even tell you this. You might get some truth about this that you might hear something like my family wouldn't approve and i hate that but i can't go against them or so and so wouldn't approve there's there's something there might be an opposites attract kind of thing and it's really difficult because it might feel like it's forbidden or it might feel like it's not the right time or there's too many you know, somebody looking at all the differences instead of all the commonalities, this, your twin flame. So it feels to me like you're everything they could ever want, everything they've hoped for, everything they've dreamed of. And yet at the same time, you're everything they desire. And they think often about what life would be like on the other side of the aisle with you. But they have this this blockage will this blockage be any at any time removed will this blockage ever be removed with this person hmm It's, it can, it, it will happen, Virgo, when I say ever. <laughs> um, hold on a second. S I'm picking up um, a specific birthday here. Uh, March 4th, 1965. Okay. Anyway, um, it's going to take time. It's going to take a really long, it's going to take time. It's going to take time because this person has a, um, a very strong influence on them. Yeah. Um, hmm. You know, Virgo, it's a tough situation when you meet the person that you know, that's your person. That's the one for you. And they know it too. It almost feels like those old stories, you know, of like boy meets girl, but girl lives on the rich side of town and boy lives on the other side of the tracks and they fall in love and it's, it's the, the best thing that could ever happen and it's crazy and it's wild and it's passionate and there's so much in common, but you both come from different parts of the world or different cultures or whatever it might be. I feel like for some of you, it could be in different parts of the world here. There's, there might be an ocean between you. But either way, I feel like this person is constantly, like, they have their back turned to where they currently are, and they're always looking outward, wondering what you're doing or who you're with or what life could be like with you or if you're, you know. I feel like they have a lot of grief. They're going to have a lot of remorse. And that remorse and that grief for listening to whomever is telling them how they should live their life or what they should do or fall in line with expectations. Um, I feel like the grief is, will eventually push them towards you. I'm missing you. 
So we did see the King of Swords there. So that is an energy of Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And we also have the King of Cups here with the Hanged Man. So that's Piscean energy. Could also be Cancer, Scorpio, which I said. Your connection with that person. Um, this is seeing things in a different way. There's hope yet. <laughs> and I'm certainly not telling anybody to wait, but there's hope. Um, I do feel like there will be a positive change in the future. I can't tell you right now in this reading for how long. I will say, I'll say this much. No, I won't. No, they're telling me. You know, I'm just going to pull one card to try to see if I can get an idea of when. Okay? Take it as it resonates. Okay, they're giving me, <laughs> they're giving me April and or May, A April through, through May. Okay, so we're in May. So for some of you, this might, or this energy might be occurring and in May, it may actually, it may happen where this actual change, this is something that may have been going on for a very, very long time now. Um, and for others, it could be 2025, May of 2025, where there is a realization that this person has to weigh between their grief, living with that sadness, uh, missing you, remorse, regret, living with that, which will be a heavy burden. Uh, do I want to live with that or do I want to live with these expectations that are put on me? And I feel like this will outweigh the expectations, this feeling of loss. Because when love's lost, it's the worst, right? It's the worst feeling ever. Let's take a look and see what Chinese signs you have here. Okay. Someone's born in the year of the rabbit. This could be you or your person. Year of the pig. Year of the Dragon. Year of the Rat. Year of the Monkey. Year of the Dog. Year of the Ox. And one more for Virgo year of the tiger so if that resonates for you great if not just take it as it resonates and leave the rest what this person would like to say to you virgo their hidden feelings what they're feeling at this time your twin flame your person i wish i had treated you better I am so attracted to you. And I feel like this person is, this is what's going on right now. I hide behind material things. I know I messed up everything. It was my fault, but I blamed you. The timing just wasn't right for us. There's something going on with your person. <clears throat> something happening with them <clears throat> that they're dealing with right now in their life. Let's take a look and see the messages of love. Someone is gripped by obsessive thoughts. So I feel like this person is all they do all day long is think about you, Virgo. And they're trying to release for some reason they have to right now. And they're unavailable for you right now, Virgo. And I feel like that's true because of whatever they're dealing with here, this, this heavy influence, environment, culture, other people. You've learned the spiritual lesson, Virgo. There's something here I feel like, I feel like a strong message is it's, 
that you need to understand it's that it's not that this person did not love you it's that there was another obstacle something in the way and I feel like this person needs to go through their their grief journey. They need to go through this time period of missing you, of feeling the absence and getting to that place that they can't function or they don't wanna live their life without you. And you have to let them do that. You have to let them have that journey because it's, it's a spiritual journey for this person. Um, it's about boundaries and growth and everybody has them and if you're allowed to have them another person's allowed to have them right and it's important that we all go through that individually and that's what i feel like this per your twin flame is going through right now okay new passionate start showing up here this week for you virgo and a material wish is being granted so whatever you've been kind of rubbing that genie lamp about or making wishes in regards to some kind of new passionate start in your life I feel like this is the week that you're going to see the opportunity to get started on something here or start seeing some type of results if you've started something already you're receiving what you want after something that you've begun okay good friends really important for you at this time Virgo Focus on those people and your future plans and choose the right path for yourself, whatever your spirit, spiritual journey is, Virgo. Some of you are getting alone. <laughs> Very good. Maybe that will help you choose a future path that you need. Okay, there is regret. Hmm, look at that. Love offer in the reverse. You are going to get a love offer from this person. It's going to be a while. So, and for some of you, it'll be in the month of May. Um, it could be this week. You know, things turn around depending on how much time has gone by. Um, but there is also regret for not making that love offer. Okay. So, hmm. Interesting energy, Virgo. All right. Let's move into see what else comes up here for you okay for some of you this is with another Virgo an Aries and or a Taurus also a Cancer Okay, so somebody's birthday is September 11th. Oh, also I'm hearing uh, Gemini and a Leo and Aquarius. Um, let's see. Somebody I feel like is in Alabama or Albuquerque or Algeria. Someone's in Florida. Someone's name is Alf. Okay, September 15th. Someone is 56 years of age. Someone is 36. Someone is 55. September 22nd. August 31st. September 8th. Someone is 47. And someone was born in 1980. Okay. Oh, someone's in New Zealand. I just heard. I just heard Fiona, the name Fiona. Okay, let's get some charms. We've got a whole bunch here. All right, Virgo. So you have a shooting star, Virgo. <laughs> um, now that brings to mind a song.
and now it's gone. Actually, the song that came to my mind, and it's really it's an old hip hop song called Ghetto, Ghetto Superstar. So <laughs> that's the song that came to my mind. So I don't know if that song will resonate for you for any reason, but yeah, I don't even know who sings it. Uh, I can hear the song playing in my mind. Um, but there's also with the shooting star here something in regards to you making a wish, or you might see a shooting star. Um, this week or you have recently seen one all right what else do we have here I can't pick it up it doesn't oh it's a skull with a top hat okay that's definitely resonating for somebody I don't know what that means a hundred percent but I do feel like the day of the dead or dancing with the devil um, something to do also with theater someone's in i'm hearing theater or on stage does something in theater i try to get this a little bit clearer for you guys but doesn't really want to zoom in all that well but yeah something to do with a stage oh uh, maybe you have a tattoo of this or you've seen this somewhere okay you also have a, a cross now, the only thing I'm picking up from this right now, this energy, they're telling me Navajo. And I'm seeing this cross in color. So like it has turquoise. It might even be showing up here. Can you see the turquoise? It actually doesn't. It's just all metal. But I'm feeling like turquoise stones and um, a woven cross. I'm picking up Navajo or something along those lines um, okay I'm also picking up travel somebody's traveling perhaps to um, there's turquoise too turquoise star someone's traveling to a beach or somewhere where there's um turquoise water turquoise colored water is that is that somewhere that you're going that's a starfish and I'm pretty sure they don't have turquoise starfish anywhere do they um, but I'm picking up turquoise water. Now, there's a... Oh, that's a dinosaur. <laughs> I thought it was a gun. Um, dinosaur is going to be very significant. There's somebody... Uh, for, some of, for some of you, I'm going to say that your person is... Um, somebody here is aged. They're up in, up in age. That's what I'm picking up with dinosaur. No offense to anybody, but it's um, as someone over 70, maybe you're listening, I feel. Um, and I'm not saying like you were born during the dinosaur times, but there's also this energy of someone has very thick skin. And also um, somebody's name is Alice or someone lives near a place called Alice or on a street or in a town. The name Alice is connected to this. And last but not least, Virgo, you have the moon. A gold moon. I feel like this is um, something that somebody wears. So maybe you have a crescent moon um, charm somewhere or a bracelet or on a ring or uh, something that's kind of designed like this where it has roses in it. A moon with roses, I'm hearing. Okay. So I'm going to leave that reading there. And also I wanted to show you, we do have the Year of the Rooster here. So I'm going to leave that there. Um, I might do another one, a uh, double one tomorrow. But I'm going to leave that here for the week. I just felt like really called in particular to this reading. And I'm not sure why, which is why I did it. Um, it's not exactly the way I usually do it and you know me I'm always given different kind of surprises So I just kind of felt like I needed to get some kind of message out here for someone and I decided to do it for the week ahead But that's fine. So I'm gonna leave it if you guys want to get a personal reading There will be a link in the description box below this video You just have to scroll down click the link. It says link to personal readings and you can also join my channel for $2.99 per month. You'll get shout outs, cool badges and emojis and can be part of the Virgo gang. 
and yeah i'm gonna leave that there i hope you guys have a fantastic week going forward and i will see you all back here very soon all right love you take care hey guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading please remember to book subscribe like do all the great things um, and i hope that you guys have a fantastic blessed loving and light filled life thank you bye